What's up YouTube? It's Leanna. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. I figured today I could vlog at home, do sort of a kind of day in the life with me at home type style vlog. Yes, mama. Alani has been talking so much lately. She coos so much. She's always smiling. I have her right here next to me, which is why I keep looking down. Let me put the camera on her and see if she'll talk to y'all for a little. What? Can you talk to us? What do you got to say? What do you got to say? What you thinking about? Hmm? What you thinking about? Wait, what do you want to tell mama? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's clean that. We received so many packages today, like my front door is filled with packages. I will show you guys that. So our Love Every stuff came in, also got a package from Curves and Combat Boots, and then everything else is from Amazon. So let's go ahead and open all of this. Alani is right here behind me and she looks like she's about to pass out. So we're just gonna let her chill there and then I figured it would be fun to do like a little unboxing with me type thing. So let's open up one of my Amazon packages first. Okay, so we got a trash can for the car. I do sit in the back seat with her and I don't know why I'm always like accumulating junk. And I just put it like in the side of the door. So I figured getting a trash can would be nice to like put all the trash in and then whenever we get out of the car, just grab the bag with me so I have everything. These next items, I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek. They're for an upcoming video that I'm doing. I am doing my pumping journey slash routine and I plan on doing a giveaway. So I bought some stuff that's been useful during my journey and I'll talk about it way more um, in that video but i got some stuff for the giveaway so stay tuned for that um it's a haka some nipple butter and then i needed to get more of these lactation cookies these things are so good and i ran out so i just ordered them because i'm kind of like lazy and and haven't been going to the store. Um, I did go to Walmart, Walmart didn't have them. I know Target has them, but I didn't feel like running out to Target. So I just ordered some off of Amazon. Second box, ooh, yay, is a new breast pump. This is actually sent to me. I forget what the brand is. I don't see the brand on here. But this was sent for me for me to review. So I will be reviewing this as well in my breast pumping journey video. So I'm really excited for this. It's a portable breast pump, which is like my LV Stride. But this is listed on Amazon for, I wanna say $90. So way cheaper than the LV Stride. But yeah, I'm excited for this one. You want mama? You want this? Third box got in here. Some disposable nursing pads, part of my giveaway. And then also this baby food pop out portion tray and also part of my giveaway. I use this for my breast milk. Fourth box is, hmm. Another portable breast pump because, as you know, giveaway. So I'm so excited that all my giveaway stuff has been coming in. This is from the brand Curves and Combat Boots. They had rebranded to Curves and then they went back to Curves and Combat Boots. So that's why the bag says Curves. But they had a 
sale going on and I got some stuff. So let's see what I got because I don't remember. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that I got is this sports bra. It's a cheetah print, like cheetah leopard print sports bra. And I already have leggings that have this print, so I needed the matching bra for it. Looks like this. I also got the matching jacket because I have a black one already and it is so comfortable. And they had it in the cheetah print again, so I got this cheetah print looking jacket. Hopefully y'all could see that because I can't see the camera. And they just came out with like this new seamless line. And I already got um, the green and the black set of this, but the pants were too small, so I had to size up. I usually wear medium. I had to size up for a large. So I also got it in the white set and this is what it looks like. This material is so like snugged, which I love because you know, I'm still in my postpartum period and I got like a little pooch going on. So this definitely hides my pooch and keeps everything like just secured. And then I got the matching bra with it. And this is the bra, really cute. I am a brand ambassador for Curves and Combat Boots. So if you guys are interested in purchasing any of their items, I'll have everything linked below. You can use my code Lee10 and you will now save 15%. It used to be a 10% code and it is now a 15% code. So go shopping. So I am so excited for these next two packages because I am finally able to try out Love Every. I have wanted to try them out for a while, but I'm not gonna lie, the price tag on them, I was just like, is it really worth it? Is it not? So I never actually like spent the money to splurge on them. Love Every did gift these to us. So thank you so much, Love Every, for gifting us these items. This one right here is the Looker Play Kit. It's for the ages of weeks zero through 12. Okay, so designed by experts for your baby's developing brain. And it has this little card on top, which probably would tell us everything about it. Yeah. Okay, so it shows you everything that's included in the box. So the first thing is this mobile. Is it mobile or mobile? I think it's mobile. I don't know. It's this mobile and it's very colorful, which is cute. Um, and the back of it has the black, which I know black and white is very stimulating for their eyes. The next thing that we have in here is this standing card holder and it has the black and white contrast cards. And I actually do already have black and white contrast cards for Alani. I actually started with her. She was probably about a week old already when I started doing the cards with her. And I noticed that she would look at them a lot and then I would start moving them and you could see her following the cards. So I really do like the black and white cards. And it has to stand for you to put the cards inside, which is really colorful too. It's so cute. They're a little rainbow that they have with it. We have some sensory toys. And again, with the black and white. And it has like, I don't know what this type of sound is, but I do have some little books for Alani that they make this sound and I hand them to her sometimes for her to like hold and she does like the crinkly sound. Okay, I am gonna, oh, what is this? Hold on. Oh, okay, so it's basically a book with ways to play and it has like little tips from experts and different at-home activities that you could do. So I do like this. I'm gonna be looking into this more. More of these little sensory toys. This one is a silicone rattle with a removable ball, which is nice because when she's teething, she could probably still use this to like chew on it. And it has a little ball and the ball goes inside and then she could take it out. Ryder is gonna think this is for him because this is squeak, so I definitely have to keep this away from him. But this is another one of the sensory toys. So we have black and white mittens for her hands. 
And I do put mitten, mittens on her right now. And technically, I know it's not part of, like, Montessori. Because her hands are supposed to be free. But she scratches her face so much. We have more of those black and white contrast cards. But these are on little wooden tiles. And this is perfect because you could tell these are going to last. It's very durable. Definitely going to be saving this whole kit because when I have future kids, they're going to be able to use the exact same kit because, again, you could tell that the material is definitely durable. This is the last thing that came in the box. It's a mug and it says the days are long, but the years are short oh oh that makes me kind of sad because it is so true like the days are so long with her but she's just gonna grow up so fast it makes me so sad oh i love everyone why'd you do this to me alani woke up though she's here just having her bottle i already put her play mat down and then this is the last box that we have to open so we could go ahead and open this one now okay so when you open it it looks like this it has the same little pamphlet type thing that shows what's included. So it's supposed to come with an activity guide, the high contrast ball, teething ring, batting rings, mirror cards, black and white cards, picture cards, and clip cards, and then the play gym, and then also the cover. So I am going to go set this up right now. So I wanted to do a comparison of the Love Every Play Gym versus this play gym that i found on amazon i don't remember the brand i will have them linked both below though so i originally had wanted to go with this play gym my dad had got it for me the reason why i had wanted this one was because i liked more of the neutral colors it also brought like a little tummy time pillow and then it also has the conversion for it to be turned into a tent as well i'm not too sure what the purpose of like this design and like this design honestly is because it doesn't even have all the alphabets um it does have the different textures right there and then it has the numbers over there um little shapes right here and then it has little like um pool rings i guess for the babies to pull on them it has little wooden toys hanging so it has this one that spins has a cute little rainbow which i loved and then it has this little contrast ball and then underneath it has black and white contrast cards and then you could flip it and on the other side it has the little colorful side that's like the only colorful part trying to put this play gym together was a little tough definitely you definitely need someone um to hold one of the legs because you have to screw in the legs i did it by myself but it would have been a lot easier if i had help from david when i was doing it the key rings that come with it to hold like these pictures up don't even snap they're just like open and i'm pretty sure they're supposed to close but all three of them are like that and this part it's just really like it's really thin i don't feel like there's much like cushion compared to the love every play gym you fasten the legs with these little um velcro straps right here i really had to stretch out the mat in order for it to fit because it was not fitting so this is what the love every gym looks like i am pretty sure i'm gonna retire this one or probably give it to like her babysitter or something for her to use over there but i definitely love this one so much more the mat is a lot thicker so there's more cushion with this just assembling it was so much easier i didn't have to have like the little hex key to screw it because it just screwed down with this little screw right here and putting the legs inside it clips onto one side so you don't have to worry about trying to balance everything the high contrast ball like you could just tell is a way better quality high contrast ball from love every gym high contrast ball from amazon gym <laughs> huge difference even the wooden toys like just so much more durable and sturdy like 
touching it, you could tell it's just better quality. I feel like with this play mat, each portion has a purpose. I haven't actually looked into the like manual for it, but you like here, this is all for like texture. Over here, just all the different colors. This part, it crinkles, so definitely sensory play here. And then also has little squeaks in it, so you could hear it squeaking. No, that's not for you. Look at him. No, okay. Let's, let's not get you used to being on this mat. Go over there. On this side, it has a little teething ring for her, and she could pull on it. And then over here has a learn to focus spot where you could put cards or mirrors. So I do have, oh, I do have mirrors right now. Hello. <laughs> but you could put cards or mirrors for them to look at themselves. every play gym and I feel like she loves this play gym I can tell she enjoys it way more than the one I got off of Amazon so one off of Amazon I feel like it's just there to, it's like a aesthetically pleasing to look at there's really not much of a function for it or like a purpose I would have to look again on Amazon to see what the purpose of that one was like the different little portions around the mat but she definitely did enjoy this one i could tell i did end up attaching some of the stuff from the looker play kit and the one that i feel like she liked the most was the mobile 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 here we go again she just seemed way more curious to what the love every gym has to offer when i put her on the one i got off of amazon i noticed that she doesn't like being on it as long she was on the love every play gym for maybe about like 15 to 20 minutes before getting fussy. So the biggest question that you guys might have, which I definitely had myself, is is Love Every worth the price? I personally feel like it is worth the price. Just by comparing the two different play gyms that I have right now, Love Every is way more durable. And I feel like the materials that they use is meant for your stuff to last. With being a first time mom, I know I wanna have more kids. And with having more kids, I wanna be able to purchase things that I know is going to last. So while it is a little more on the pricier side, it's definitely an investment and it's definitely worth it in my opinion and in my case because now I don't have to worry about toys that are not going to last and I will be able to recycle these toys for my future kids. I will definitely be purchasing more stuff from Love Every, especially their play kits. Alani is already two months, she'll be three months in about four weeks. So I will be getting their next play kit. It's called The Charmer and it's designed for ages three to four months. So again, thank you so much Love Every for sending this stuff to us. We really appreciate it so much. You definitely have a customer in me now because I will be purchasing more stuff. 
if you guys are interested in purchasing anything from Love Every, especially the play gym that I showed or any of their play kits, I will have their stuff linked down below. So you could go down below, click the link, and then search the stuff yourself. What? He's just staring at me. What? Ryder is looking so crazy right now. He has not had a haircut. Oh my God. I think since November. Oh my God, I'm neglecting you. I feel like he gets jealous now that we've had the baby and he feels like we forget about him. So whenever she's asleep, he's definitely like always trying to get our attention. Not that we forget about him. Let me just put that out there. We do not forget about our dog. He still has all the attention he had before, especially from David, but it's like, you know, a lot more of our time is spent with the baby now. What? So he definitely does get jealous. So my living room is looking crazy now with all of the stuff that I just unboxed. Lonnie's over here sleeping in her swing. So I am wanting to, or not wanting to, but I am going to clean up the living room. This was the treadmill that I was talking about in my Let's Chat With Me video and how it's in the living room. It's just, like takes up so much space. Also in my Let's Chat With Me video, I spoke about how we had put an offer in our house and we we're waiting for the appraisal to come back. Appraisal came back within what we got approved for for the loan. So we are getting the house, we are closing soon, so yay for us. We close on March 4th, I think is when we're supposed to be closing. But when we go to close, definitely bringing the treadmill, we have a bike upstairs, bringing the bike, and a little bit of other stuff to put in the house. I have family coming and David has family coming, well, we have family coming in March, so I wanna like make more space in the house because we are gonna have quite a few people here with us. But I am so excited for the house. I can't wait to decorate. I can't wait to bring you guys with us and show you what the house looks like. I also really love doing DIY stuff and that's something that I haven't really done on my channel other than my Valentine DIY self-care stuff that I filmed, I wanna say last year or the year before that. But other than that, I haven't done any DIYs and I actually have a lot of DIYs around my house. So I'm really excited to start doing some more DIYs and getting the rooms exactly how I'm visioning them. But yes, I am going to clean up the living room and get this all back situated the way it needs to be. I just got done cleaning the living room. David went to go get us Taco Bell for dinner. I'm waiting for him to get home so I can move that table because that table is so heavy to move but i put on my curves outfit and i want to show you guys what it looks like so this is their new seamless line oh my god it is so comfortable like like super like freaking squat proof and everything so comfortable um i am on the shorter side so i did have to cuff the bottoms but if you see it's the same pattern on both sides so i feel like you can't even really tell I forget what this jacket is called. I'll have it linked below, but even the jacket is so comfortable. It has the little thumb holes. I will show you. Yeah, so it has little thumb holes. And then this is the top. I will show you my two month postpartum body. But this is the bra that came with it. Well, not came with it, but <laughs> part of the set and like the seamless leggings are so high-waisted which i love because since i am in my postpartum journey i do have a little pooch so you could tell like on the side right there i mean i feel like i look pretty good for being two months postpartum but i'm not like where i really want to be yet and obviously i mean like everybody has roles but yeah this is my two months postpartum body since I'm showing off. But um, yeah, I really like how they're high-waisted and they just keep everything in place. I had gotten the green and black set, I think I mentioned before, but I got the pants in a medium. These are large and even I think after like I slim down, they're still gonna fit me way more perfect than what the medium does. And in the bra, I got in a small, and in the green and blacks that I have in a medium, and I think I'm gonna return the whole set and go with the large and the small in that one too, because the medium fits me just a little big. But yeah, this is the set. Let me show you real quick the back too. So I'm gonna take this jacket off. So I'm not sure, hopefully you guys could see that, but that is what 
the back of the bra looks like super freaking cute like honestly i think i am in love with their new seamless set because it is so damn cute again i have a code so if you do want to shop for any type of curves and combat boots apparel my code is lee 10 saves you 15 percent david just got home with taco bell and of course she wants to wake up when we decide to eat well look at me being a fat girl him being a somewhat fat boy i've been doing really well with cooking like eating breakfast lunch and dinner here at the house but we decided to splurge a little today so he got a taco bell look at that haircut boy looking good so he's gonna be de-hatting tomorrow so basically what it means is that he's no longer gonna be a drill sergeant so he will stop wearing the drill sergeant hat and then he'll just go back to his regular pc which is our patrol caps so that's happening tomorrow we're gonna go see that ceremony I was gonna add David to de-hatting ceremony until I realized that this video was already 25 minutes long. If you guys are interested in watching his de-hatting ceremony, I will be showing it in my next vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. If you would like to reach out to me, my Instagram name will be linked below. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already and hit that bell so that way you guys never miss a video with me. And until next time, bye guys. Bye.